Hello, good morning, everyone. I'm very happy to welcome all of you in this my short presentation of uh, radio receiver types. This presentation is useful uh, to the students of DSC third year of Sony Ramanand Maratwada University studying electronics as one of their optional subject. In this short presentation, we are going to learn what is radio receiver and the basic types of the radio receiver. So let us start with the presentation. Radio receiver uh, is an electronic device and normally it is used to receive the signal the electronic signal that is transmitted in the air. You will find that uh, the receiver is frequently used by us in our daily lives. For example, when you observe a new television program on a television screen, then it is basically a television receiver. If you hear any song on a radio, then that radio itself is a radio receiver. So radio receiver receives the signal from the air and the main function that is performed by the radio receiver is to demodulate the signal. Because the signal that is being transmitted is a modulated signal and this modulated signal is a high frequency signal and therefore this signal cannot be reproduced in audio output and therefore this signal needs to be demodulated so this is the main job of the radio receiver to demodulate the incoming signal we will find that there are several types of receiver but uh, basically there are two popular types of the receiver the first one is the TRF receiver, which is known as a tuned radio frequency receiver. And another, and which is most popular and commercially used, is superheterodyne radio receiver. So in this session, we are going to understand what this TRF receiver is and what this superheterodyne receiver is. We will see what are their block diagrams and also we will understand the basic functionalities of their different blocks. So this is a TRF receiver block diagram. TRF receiver is one of the basic receiver, which is, uh, you can say, uh, being used by the people in early stages of the receiver. And it basically consists of RF amplifier stages. There are two RF amplifier stages, a detector stage, audio amplifier stage, a power amplifier stage, and finally some transducer like loudspeaker where the signal can be reproduced. So the incoming signal from the antenna is coupled to the uh, first RF amplifier stage. This stage uh, receives the signal. As you know that in air, a large number of signals are present. So we need to decide which signal is to be selected. For example, as far as AM radio stations are concerned, you will find that there are Radio Aurangabad station, Radio Parbani station, Radio Mumbai station, Radio Pune station. So all such signals are present in the atmosphere. We need to select the particular radio station signal. The selection of the signal is normally done by the filter circuit used in the RF amplifier station. This signal is a very weak signal and hence it needs to be amplified. Normally there are two stages of the RF amplifier that are coupled to each other. 
So these two stages provide the sufficient gain for the input V signal. After RF amplification, the signal is uh, coupled to the detector stage. Detector stage is very important stage in the radio receiver because it performs demodulation. That is the incoming signal is a modulated signal, is a high frequency signal in which we need to remove the high frequencies and we need to filter out the information signal or audio signal. This audio signal is further coupled to the audio amplifier. Audio amplifier is used to amplify such audio signal. Output of the audio amplifier is coupled to the power amplifier. Audio amplifier normally increases the voltage amplitude of the incoming signal, but current amplification is provided by the power amplifier. This stage is necessary because to drive a loudspeaker, we need some power amplification. If directly the output of the audio amplifier is coupled to the loudspeaker, then we may find that we may not hear any sound from the loudspeaker. A popular class B power amplifier is used as a power amplifier in the DRF signal. This uh, output of the power amplifier is further coupled to the loudspeaker. Loudspeaker is a transducer. This transducer converts the incoming electrical signal into sound signal. When the incoming signal flows through the voice coil of the loudspeaker, the voice coil vibrates and these vibrations will produce a sound in the nearby surrounding area. These vibrations when reach to our ear, then we can hear the sound. So you will find that in the TRF receiver, it's a basic receiver and TRF receiver suffers from a large number of drawbacks. TRF receiver is an unstable receiver. TRF receiver do not have a constant bandwidth. Its bandwidth varies. And therefore, we will found that the TRF receiver is commercially not used. Another type of the receiver that is being more popularly used is a super heterodyne receiver. The block diagram of the super heterodyne receiver is shown in this slide. You will find that some of the stages that are present in the TIF receiver are also present in the super heterodyne receiver. The only difference is that in the super heterodyne receiver, there are some additional stages such as mixer, local oscillator, and IF amplifier. So, the incoming signal is uh, amplified by the RF amplifier and it is coupled to the mixer stage. Heterodyning stands for mixing. In mixer stage, the incoming signal and the local oscillator signal are clubbed together so that at the output of the mixer, we get a different signal. This different signal is called as IF amplifier intermediate frequency signal. This intermediate frequency signal is amplified by the IF amplifier. Further, it is demodulated by using the demodulator. And then finally, it is audio amplified and power amplified before it is coupled to the output device such as transducer. So you will find that basically what we are doing in super heterodyne receiver is the mixing of the signals. The incoming signal and the local oscillator signal are mixed in such a way that every time when we tune to a frequency, a constant intermediate frequency signal is being produced. Say for example, if you are tuned to the radio harmony, and suppose uh, the incoming signal frequency of the radio harmony is 1305 kilohertz, then the local oscillator frequency will be adjusted in such a way that the output of the mixer will be 455 kilohertz. Now suppose you have tuned to another station frequency of 550 kilohertz, then again, the local oscillator frequency will be adjusted in such a manner that the output of the mixer will be again 
455 kilohertz. That is, we observe that even if we change the incoming station frequency, automatically the local oscillator frequency will be changed in such a fashion that the output of the mixer will be always a frequency of intermediate frequency of 455 kilohertz. It means that at the output of the mixer, we get even if we get the constant frequency of 455 kilohertz, it doesn't mean that it contains the same intelligence. Every time when we tune to the another station, listen to it, the intelligence or the information contained within the signal is changed. So such signal is being processed by the TRF receiver and finally it is reproduced through the loudspeaker. Super heterogeneous receiver is very popular receiver, and most of the commercial receivers are super heterogeneous receiver. And you will find that uh, the receiver that you use in your homes, or the receivers that are used in commercial systems such as radar systems, are all super heterogeneous type receivers. So this was the, my first uh, uh, short presentation about. Uh, the receiver type. I would appreciate if you make uh, some suggestions regarding these presentations. As I told you that these presentations have been prepared by me, uh, considering the students of BSc third year who are studying in Swami Ramanandan University uh, Thank you all uh, for listening. Uh, my presentation. Namaste.